Welcome to the abridged audio version of David Hathaway's April newsletter. David writes. Thank you for your faithful support. We work as a team, and together with you, we move forward and see God's powerful blessing on the ministry. We have just celebrated Easter. Significantly my TV message was from Paul's letter to Timothy about suffering hardship for the sake of the gospel and in so doing, to share in the sufferings of Jesus. Paul says, if we suffer with him, we shall be raised with him. In effect, if we share the experiences of Jesus on earth, we shall share his glory in heaven. And for me, the greatest blessing of Easter is resurrection. As I write this, I am about to go to Ukraine. In addition to meeting many church leaders, I shall be preaching in Kiev. Despite the war, the church is full of people praying for their nation. Shortly after my return, I will go to Germany to renew my relationship with our German friends and partners where Eurovision began as a charity in 1988. It all started with our East-West conferences held in Karlsruhe from 1988 to 1992, which were an act of faith and prophesied the fall of the Iron Curtain. For me, these conferences in West Germany were the springboard which saw the real revival reach both Russia and Ukraine. This time, my visit is to hold a powerful day of prayer for Ukraine on 29 April. Germany is part of my vision for Europe and I want to join with some of the churches to hold further days of prayer, not only for Ukraine, but also for Germany. On my recent visit to Uzbekistan, we had a powerful conference of youth leaders, 200 registered, but 290 came, representing 30 churches, 29 cities, and 7 different countries. What a challenge, these are the active youth leaders from persecuted Muslim countries. We are reaching young people, who are actively supporting our future evangelism. This is what happened in Russia and Ukraine in the 1990s. It was the young people who led the move of God. The response in Uzbekistan was powerful, all left with a new fire from the Holy Spirit. There will be more days of prayer this year, in Central Asia, Ukraine, and Germany. This is where you are so important. The most powerful backup, to everything we do, is the power of prayer, it always has been, the power behind my ministry. I have always, since my teenage years, had a powerful relationship with the Lord through prayer. I still go back to places, where I met with the Lord, almost 80 years ago, to remind him of what we shared then, and still do now. God is a wonderful Father, and encourages me through the Holy Spirit. I can hardly realize, that when I was in my 60s, an age when many people are slowing down, and thinking of retirement, I was spending three months at a time in Siberia. And this was 30 years ago. Now in my 90s, I am taking on this latest challenge of evangelism in Central Asia. But the miracle is that the fire in me is burning more strongly now as I grow older. We are in the last of the last days and although we know that persecution and godlessness will increase according to scripture, I know positively that the power of God through the Holy Spirit will be increasingly available to those who ask. Read the parable of the talents, God looks for faithfulness and increase in what he has called us to. One of the most precious scriptures God gave me all those years ago, as I struggled as a young evangelist with a wife and twin babies was, you have not chosen me but I have chosen you, that you should bring forth fruit, and it will remain. Remain it has, as seen all over the former Soviet empire. Those twin babies, who slept in a carry cot, behind me on the platform, while my wife led the worship, and I preached Jesus, are my strongest supporters now. It is the faithfulness of God, that I love so much. He keeps every promise. And when he healed me of lung cancer 20 years ago, he gave me two promises, health and healing and I have both. 
Thank you for your support. Please keep praying and giving. I will need your continuing support over the coming years as I will not stop preaching Jesus whilst there's breath in my body. Thank you and God bless you and answer all your prayers. If you need healing, yes, we will pray, but also, I encourage you to do what I do, keep praying until the answer comes. To make a donation, to support David's ministry, visit eurovision.org.uk forward slash donation. Thank you for supporting this vision, in prayer, and through finance. We appreciate every gift, and pray God's blessing upon your life. The Apostle Paul wrote, and they are very beautiful words, which echo what is in my heart, I always thank my God, when I pray for you, because I keep hearing of your trust in the Lord Jesus, and your love for all of God's people. I myself, have gained much joy, and comfort from your love, because your kindness, has so often refreshed the hearts of God's people. To make a donation to support our ministry, visit eurovision.org.uk forward slash donation. Thank you for listening.